This video will cover the topic, graphing a line given its equation in slope-intercept form, fractional slope. Can we review the equation for slope-intercept form? The equation for slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. In this form, the slope of the line is m and the y-intercept is b. If we look at the example, y equals negative one-half x plus four, we see that this line has a slope of negative one-half and a y-intercept of four. To graph this line, we should recognize that the y-intercept of four means that the point zero, four is on the line because this is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. That makes sense, so how does knowing the slope help us graph the line? The slope of a line is the steepness, which we can think of as the rise over the run. A slope of negative one-half means that the rise over one equals negative one-half. If the run is two, the rise is negative one. We use this information to find a second point on the line. We start at the point zero comma four that we already found. The run is two, so we add two to the x-coordinate, and the rise is negative one, so we add negative one to the y-coordinate. This tells us that another point on the line is two comma three. We can now connect the points zero comma four and two comma three to graph the line. I think I understand how to do this, but are there any other ways to graph the line? There are. Let's go back to our equation. We know that we need at least two points to graph the line. Instead of using the y-intercept and the slope to determine two points, we can choose some x values and then evaluate our equation for each of those x values. Since we are multiplying x by negative one-half in our equation, choosing x values that are multiples of two will give us integer y values. Let's evaluate our equation for x equals zero, x equals two, and x equals four. I thought we only needed two points to graph a line. Why did we evaluate our equation for three x values? Doing this allows us to check our work. If the three points are not on a line, then we made an error finding the points. Let's plot these three points that we've found. Now we can draw a line through them to determine our final answer. Because these three points are all on a line, we know we have found the correct solution. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to graph a line given its equation in slope-intercept form. We can either find one point using the y-intercept and find a second point using our slope by determining the rise over run from our first point. Or we could evaluate our equation over a few values of x to determine enough points on the graph to draw a line and check our work. That's exactly right. Great work!